Hey, what's up, Skittle Squad? Welcome back once again to another World Zero video. And this time we're finishing up our three part series when it comes to classes in World Zero and how I introduced them to you guys. So, of course, after watching this part as well, it should give you a pretty good idea on which of the three classes you want to choose and how you want to progress in them. But before I begin this video, make sure you smash the like button, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Right here, I'm rocking a level 45 defender. Maxed out level right here. Got some pretty rad skills to show off. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys off. Yeah, I'm gonna show them off and demonstrate some defender skills. So as I click on the right hand side, the K button, the class button, we can see Defender, Guardian, Berserkers. These are the routes that you'll be taking as a full on DPS offensive damage dealer. In my inventory right now, I'm rocking a Snowstorm Great Axe plus 8 with around 1.1k attack power. And I do have a Permafrost Greatsword as well and Dual Axes to show off later. I do have level 45 Legendaries to rock on right now. And they're all very OP weapons to test out in this series of the video. So let's go start off with Defenders. Alright, so the skills that we're going to be looking at today for Defender is the Groundbreaker. Cooldown 5 seconds, shakes the earth with the power of a Great Axe. And then next we would have Spin, it's a very useful skill for AoE damage. Cooldown is 8 seconds and it throws your axe around like a whirlwind. Alright, we're going to test out both these skills, Groundbreaker and Spin. We're going to start off with the Groundbreaker, we're going to find a target right now, I see my teammates are destroying everything. So, Groundbreaker, BAM! Dude, that's a crap ton of damage. And holy crap, we can probably one shot a lot of lower tier mobs and maybe even some bosses. And now we're going to try to do Spin, we're going to try to lure and bait and aggro as much mobs as possible so we can you know finish them on one go this is the beginner map the first map you ever try so um maybe my teammates will kill everything before i can spin there we go so as a defender guys it is definitely the most offensive class that you can find in the game right now it is a melee class and it doesn't really have any range as as far as I know, yeah, I don't remember there's any ranged skills that defenders have. In terms of defensively, I don't even feel like they're weak in defense, too. They're pretty darn OP as a class. So if you're one of those guys out there trying to choose a class that's high in damage, and, you know, you kind of like glass cannons, even though defender's not really a glass cannon, well, this is probably the class for you. You want to get all up in the boss's face? Well, look at that. Wait. Yeah, there we go. I actually one-shotted it. Easy peasy, right? Wow! All right, folks, so that's pretty much it for Defender right now. If you haven't chosen the Defender already, you should definitely give it a try if you're an offensive player and if you really want to focus on DPS. All right, we're going to hop into World 2 to show you the next class. All right, folks, so the next class we have here is the Greatsword using Guardian. And definitely, it's an offensive tank. It's literally the most tanky version, subclass, of the Defender route. The first skill we're going to look at is Aggro Draw, cooldowns of 10 seconds, captures your enemy's focus onto you while you gain 50% damage resistance. That's pretty much just getting attention from your mobs or your teammates and stuff, so they don't get attacked and damaged while you take 50% less damage. And then we have Rock Spikes, cooldown 6 seconds. Slash the ground and unearth rocks at your foes. I think this is the closest thing to a range skill then yes we have slashed your primary attack we don't really care about that then we have slash fury cooldown eight seconds and it launches multiple slashes forward and i think that's also a bit range too wow we have our ultimate skill the one that you do have to charge at level 20 sword prison traps mobs inside a prison and rains down great swords from above and it infects a lot of damage i know it's like literally cut off right here but uh let's go try this out so obviously guys our first skill is aggro draw we don't even have teammates right here to draw in enemies so you technically have to take my word for it that we're gonna draw in some enemies but we're gonna take 50 percent less damage right okay yep that looks like we're negating the damage quite a bit then we're gonna hit them over rock spike bam yeah that range is not very far it's literally just right in front of us do these spikes suck all right let's see what we got here what are we gonna use next i'm gonna show my slash skill first because these slash skills are freaking op they do heck of damage just because of the fact that you're using a two-handed weapon great sword why did i even choose this map 
This is like the worst map to like solo dungeons. You're easily gonna get spiked and you're gonna like get trapped. Oh, just like that. Ew. So we're gonna try Slash Fury. Yeah, that's the F key and we're gonna gather up all these mobs as best we can. And then we're gonna Slash Fury. Yeah, that's not really range, guys. This is the closest thing to range. Oh, dude. This is literally one of the most annoying parts of like lower level maps. Yeah, these hammers, they're relentless. They'll knock you all the way back if you even get touched by them even once. As you can see, as a defender, right? My swings are actually pretty slow. Yeah, they, yeah. Oh, no! That's why I don't like this map. I would definitely say as a defender or even guardian, berserker, even though you don't really have any defensive stats, you don't technically take a lot more damage than any of the other classes. Wow, you do a uh, freak ton more. Yeah, this part is pretty cool, actually. Usually people like to reset to get to the very end, but I'm too cool to do that right now. All right, let's go test out Sword Prison. We're going to grab some aggro, go get the attention of the final boss. I think there's two bosses here. All right, buddy, come over here. We have a Sword Prison. This is going to be super OP. Sword Prison! Now, where are those swords coming down? There it is. Ooh. Raining down swords. Yo, that was so OP, bro. All right, let's move on to a Berserker. All right, folks, so here I am in World 3, getting ready to show you a Berserker. But right before that, I just want to flash off some of the item stats again. So the Greatsword I was using, the Permafrost level 45, was around 1,200 attack power plus 10 slots. And I have the Snowstorm in one hand, the Great Axe 45, and then the 42 Golden Great Axe. They're roughly around 1,100 damage right now because it's not plus 10. But as a Berserker, you do get to use Two, two, yeah, not one, two great axes. And of course, right before I hop into the dungeon, because I know it can get really hectic if you bring in teammates, I'm going to show off the skills and classes right now. So as a Berserker at level 30, the first skill I'm going to look at is the aggro slam. Leaps into a crowd and smashes with both axes, captures enemy focus. So I think what happens is you leap forward, you do some damage, and you grab aggro. If you don't finish him off, it's a cooldown of 5 seconds. The next one we have is Fisher. Cool down 10 seconds, raise magma to shoot from the ground and it infects burns. So burn is actually a great way to do extra damage. It does dot damage, damage over time. So that's going to be pretty OP. Then we have Giga Spin. Throws both axes around with a shattering speed. I'm pretty sure that's the one that revolves around you 360 degrees. And then we got Rage. Enters Rage Mode, cause fire with all your skills and more damage with primary. So you get damage boost and all the skills that you inflict will actually do burning attack. Burning damage, burning doubt damage. And of course, if you scroll right on down, you have slash your primary attack. You don't really care about that, even though it does so much damage, because you're a freaking berserker. All right, here we are in the final map area. We're going to start off with aggro slam. Bam. I think with the 6k, I wasn't really sure. I think someone else might have hit first. Aggro slam. There we go. Cooldown's actually pretty quick for this, so you're going to end up spamming that skill quite often. All right, and next, we're going to try out Giga Spin. I'm going to try to grab aggro for all these and spin. There we go. OP skill, right? 360 degree coverage. Next one, we're going to have Fisher. All right, let's see. Should have caused some burning. Okay, that actually looks pretty cool, huh? Now I got to look for a target to use my ulti on. Yeah, my ultimate attack. Rage. So folks, I definitely think that there should be some kind of balancing for characters right now. Because it's blatantly obvious that the defender is way too OP. Either they gotta buff the other characters up or nerf the berserkers to make it more fair. Alright folks, we're heading in for the final boss, final dragon, best dragon. So uh, we're gonna try to burn it with rage mode. We've been saving this ultimate for so long. Alright, rage mode it is. Oh, okay, okay. Burn it, burn it. If you have a proper healer too, you don't have to care about your HP. Literally, you could wreck this boss. There's no blocking mechanic like the Sword Master. Obviously, you do have to run at certain times, but... um, Oh, there it is. Let's, we gotta hide, we gotta hide. Yeah, this guy is no Sword Master. He has no shield. He can't block it. But we almost finished the boss already. And the burning definitely helps out. Easy peasy. Alright, that's it for a Berserker. All right, folks, I just wanted to add this in because right after that run, I found a legendary, another one, a uh, snowstorm. So now I kind of have two. Doesn't it look good? Yeah, I know, right? 
All right, folks, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this three-part series. If you enjoyed this video and you want more World Zero content, let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, y'all.